Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Igor Morsky. And you'll see in Photopia, I have already opened up a photograph of myself. And the first thing I want to do is crop it down. So I'm going to use the rectangle select and shift to create a square. And then I'm going to go to image and crop to crop it down to what I want. Okay, right, now I'm going to use image adjustments black and white to make my image black and white, click OK. And then image adjustments color balance. And I'm just gonna put up the red a bit and bring down the blue a little bit just to make my piece a little bit warmer and a bit more like Igor Morsky's work. Okay, right, next up I'm gonna grab the text tool and I'm gonna drag a text box and I'm going to make sure I do a capital letter in there and in this case I've done T and then I'm enlarging that so I can see it and I want it to be a serif font this time so I'm going down to the serif category and I'm choosing the top one there because that's the most appropriate and then gonna use the arrow tool to make that bigger Okay, pressing shift so it doesn't squish or stretch. I'm going to rotate that a bit and I'm placing that there. Then right click and duplicate layer. And I'm going to just place another one. Maybe shrink it down a bit. Just there. Okay, and then duplicate that layer. Move the duplicated layer over. Resize it. And we're really just putting them at about the halfway point of the head, anywhere we like, shrinking them down, rotating them so they all look different, like it's a jumble of letters, making sure we're going over the whole of the face. Again, duplicate layer, grab that, take it over the other side, right click, duplicate layer. And I'm going to change the letter now. So just get the tool again and type in a capital R. And then resize, re-rotate, and begin to fill the area with the R now. Duplicate that layer. Resize it, rotate it. This is very much up to you where you place these. And duplicate again and use the arrow tool to resize and rotate that one and you just keep doing this deciding where you want the letters to be big and small jumbled across the space and I'm going to change the letter again. So text tool again, this time an A, arrow tool, and move that, resize it, I think. There we go. Then right click, duplicate it, create a new one, bigger, rotated, and fill those areas as you see fit. Okay, duplicate again, fill that bit. What you're really looking for in the end is a row of letters that goes across your face without any real gaps. Okay. One last one, I think, just over here. Okay. Right, now, I'd rather these letters be bold, I think, so I'm going to select all of them. So click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom layer, so I select them all. And then I'm going to go back to the text tool and go to the drop-down menu at the top and select bold. That's better. Nice. 
OK, while I've got all of these selected, I'm going to right click and duplicate them. So duplicate layer and that duplicates everything that I have selected. And I can now grab those with the arrow tool and just move those to over here. So I begin to create more of a jumble and then duplicate that layer and put it over there. So I've got this jumble of letters stretching right across the page. OK, now I can grab all of those layers and right click and merge those layers together. So I be they become one layer of lots of letters. OK, I'm then going to create a new layer and I'm going to grab the rectangle select tool and I'm just going to draw a box from within that jumble to the top of my head and I'm going to fill that box with the paint bucket tool and with black. OK, click that. So I've now covered the whole of the top of my head with black and letters and I'm going to select those two layers, right click and merge them together. OK, right. Now I'm going to create a new layer and drag that between the photo and the lettering layer. And I'm going to make sure I've got white selected and go to the paint bucket and fill all of that layer with that color. And I'm then going to merge the lettering layer with that layer. OK. Right, now I'm going to invert these. So image adjustments invert and that's going to turn what was dark light and vice versa and I want to now go to the drop down menu above the layer and go to multiply and that's going to blend the layers so I can see the image below through it okay and now I'm going to make that one invisible and go to the photo layer and use the magic wand tool to select the background and press delete to get rid of it and I'm going to select a new layer to be my background and I'm going to fill that with a slightly grey background and paint bucket that in to fill it okay and then I'm going to go back to my top layer and I'm going to right click on it and go to Clipping Mask, and that's going to make it so that the lettering is only where my face is. And I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit so it's not quite so dark. And that is that piece done and dusted. I hope this tutorial is helpful.